Jadarius experience and oh my god came out after my first real breakup though. Uh oh, thought my life was over back then, dog. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like you need the thing that like hits you in the gut and gets it matches those feelings so you can be like, no, no, this is human, right? I'm th this is the special. That's why I'm, I don't like that incel. You know what I mean? And that's the thing about the incel shit too. Like that shit was going on back in the. Uh, uh, I was talking about this because that's what kind of partially inspired the album. I remember, um, because uh, the the pickup artists—that's what they called it back then. You know, having game and pickup artist shit, right? And like, I remember seeing that book, the game, passed around. You know, at, at my school, I think at Rouge View, whoever the heck it was, and I remember being like, "Well, you know, hey, I'm a psycho, or whatever." <laughs> You know, and then when you actually like read it yourself and really get into what it is, it's just like, wait, you, you don't enjoy sex and you're treating women like they're just like, okay, but this feels kind of shitty. Like, I don't know if I want to be this person. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like, I'm a kid. Like, what the fuck do I know about what's better, you know? So, you know, tried to make my art to like deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew that that was like, you know, as much as like you like to feel like you're the first person going through whatever emotions, like I know it's like, hey, all the boys that were on my dorm or whatever, or at least most of them were going through that. I mean, some guys were really cool. But, you know, I know it wasn't every fucking body. Like I said, I'd seen that book pass around. I remember being like, uh, okay, all right. So I'm not the only one who feels like they need a little help here. 15-year-old <laughs> me would have loved it. 27-year-old me clouds and shit like that. Yeah, that game stuff. And, and because it's like... A lot of guys just don't have a frame of reference, and in society, we don't really help people along. Like, that is the problem, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone acts like, if you don't already know how to do it, well, I can't really explain how to do it, because I don't really know how I was able to get sort of life, but you're a loser if you don't get it. Don't be like those assholes, even though we're not giving you any instruction how to do it. But don't be like them, but they're the only ones who are offering... There was this one video I saw, it was about, like... Uh, and it's one of those things that's like, damn, I wish this would have been earlier on the internet, talking about how, like... Uh, on the on the online left, we kind of like do this thing of going like, um, hey, you know, don't be like those game guys. Like they're assholes and they suck and they're liars. And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, so can you help me out though? And it's like, oh, what do you mean? And it's like, well, you know, I kind of still need like, you know, help talking to girls. I don't really know what to do. And people say just be myself. And I don't know what to do. And they just go like, uh, well, we don't really know, but uh, just be yourself. And if you go to those guys, you're a jerk. All right, peace. And then you know. Those, those guys are left standing there, and, like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't really grapple with the topic of, like, no, what is it? And, I mean, I tried to do my best, you know, in the video or whatever, and in terms of, like, what I feel like I've learned in terms of, like, hey, you know, getting someone interested in you, which is what you like, but, you know what I mean, what you really want, but, you know, just having that feeling of, like, oh, I just want girls, I want girls to like me, what do I do to get girls? You know, we do this in general thing when it's just, like, People are individuals, and it's going to be an individual person is into you, you know? You're, yeah. It's just real, realifying that and realizing that, like, hey, you know, be who you are, of course, but, like, the things that are for you will come to you is the reality of the fact, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, you can make it easier or harder on yourself if you act like asshole, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's so many guys don't realize, like, the attitude is partially what ends up, like pushing like a lot of people away it's so interesting like i remember seeing some uh, or my friend told me about this uh, one documentary on like insult or whatever and it was like this one guy who didn't look too bad it wasn't a bad looking guy but as soon as he opens his mouth he's like oh women are just bitches da, 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 da. and it's like one of those things like oh i can tell you, you've been hyper fixating on like either someone that you like that didn't like you back or something to that effect and then like spiraling you know the thought out of control you know what i'm saying oh yeah unfortunately it seems like pickup artists are still very much a thing well the problem is because we haven't really solved the issue you know, we like I said, that's what I was trying to, you know, do with the video, like, covering the oh my god thing, just to be like, hey, like, the reality is, it's like, it's not gonna be this thing, this rainbow promise of like, ooh, if you do, I swear to god, man, I swear to god, I actually, this is the thing that really broke it for me, because like I said, you know, it's like, hey, you don't know what the truth is, especially when you're a young, you know, man trying to figure out, like, I don't know how to get girls like me, you know, ways so and so, is it's clearly possible, but da da da, you know. Um, I remember seeing this one dude, it was like a pickup artist thing, and dude, I swear to God, it was the thing that broke it for me. 
he looks straight up like Seth Green. And I wish I could remember what the name of this freaking YouTube channel is, just so, because I know he's probably still doing his thing. But it was just so, like, ridiculous how, like, on the nose, like, almost parody, like, the pickup artist thing was. And so the fact that he looks like Seth Green in, he looked like, like, Seth Green doing a parody of the pickup artist thing, it just kind of made me even more go, like, yeah, I can't take this seriously. And But then, like I said, I would actually listen to what he was saying. I was like, because, you know, hey, if there's a heart, if there's a harsh truth that he's saying that it needs to be listened to, it's like, okay, sure, like, what what is it, you know? Oh, yeah, it was something where he was like, bunch of guys are, are in this like you know workshop thing and he's he's basically hired a girl to be there and go like yeah so this is what you do guys you say come here now and i'm commanding now and like you know be very commanding and be very forward and all this sort of stuff but it's like the things that he's actionably saying are like i know as a human being to another human being and i wouldn't work like that is just ridiculous you know what i'm saying so it just so bore on his face how dumb it was that it was just like okay so what's the real you know and i think honestly what the real is it's like you gel with who you gel with in the same way that you make friends and, you know, in the same way that you make, like, more than that. The problem is, is that it's not, those guys want to sell you the, you know, the, oh, if you just do this, this is what'll work. And the problem is, the people on the left can't lie to you, you know, so they're not going to say that, but they, but then they don't have an alternative becomes the issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, in a world where one side is saying, I've got an answer for you, and the other side is saying... Well, that's not the truth, but it might, I don't really have all of it, but they are using part of the truth, but they're, they're like segmenting it, but I don't really have it. You know, what are people going to go to? You know what I'm saying? I think that's the issue, you know? And I think it's worth at least, you know, with the Oh My God video, it was like, how is it worth at least trying to take a stab at like, hey, what really actually works is being yourself, being, you know, I don't want to say, a, uh, well, I'll say like, you know, the best version of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all have insecurities and awkwardness, and da, da, da. It's like, but it's just about, like, presenting yourself well, well in a way that when you're attracted to someone, you like it when they present themselves well, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, new music, nice, live your dreams. Look, I'm just, honestly, it's like, look, I was gonna make this music regardless if anyone was paying attention or not, okay? Like, I just like making music, you know? So if you're gonna, you know what I'm saying, I'll, pre I'll take the attention, you know what I'm saying? I got something for you, you know what I'm saying? I've got something for that ass and for those ears. Um, you know, and also it's like, look, I'm a music critic. Like, let's break the fourth wall. I'm a music critic, and, you know, I'm talking about music. Why not show it? You know what I mean? If you're gonna talk the shit, you know, like, you gotta offer your own alternative, right? You know, I, I think that's only fair. That's only fair, you know? Put myself out there to be judged while I be judging as well, you know? It's only fair. That's how I feel, you know? That's my personal philosophy, you know what I mean? I'm just another artist putting my bid in for some dope shit that I think is dope that y'all might want to check out as I'm talking about the other shit. Look, I'm on my Schubert shit, you know what I'm saying? Who's the Schumann? I always forget who it was. Who is the Eusebius and... Uh, I'm such a good classical student. Yeah, it was Schumann. Eusebius and Floristan. You know, he, he had the alter egos. One was the critic of music, and one was, like, the, you know, the poet who had to make it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, look, it ain't new. Ain't nothing new. You know what I'm saying? It's just the new version of it. You know what I'm saying?